hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome if this is one of your first time seeing one of my videos i'm yolanda and here on this channel i like to share the different tips and tricks that i use in order to improve both my mental and physical health so i'm not just surviving but thriving if you're a regular viewer you're probably like uh yolanda where have you been um, my last video was March 22nd. It is now May 22nd. So I have taken a unplanned two month hiatus away from YouTube. And why have I been gone so long? I could say, you know, life. I've had two more birthdays I've celebrated since then. Not I. One of them was my birthday and one was my son's birthday. I had an anniversary I celebrated with my husband, went on a week long cruise with my son, just lifing, right? But is that really why I was gone? Probably not. I guess the short answer would be shame. Um, whether you know it or not, you are my accountability partner. <laughs> And these videos and our interactions in the comments really hold me accountable on this wellness weight loss journey. And unfortunately, when I am not reporting, it's because I'm not losing weight. Throughout this hiatus, the one thing I can say is that I never stopped working out. Now, did I stop doing rolling fast? And did I consume way too many carbs and sugar? Yes. But first, let's back it up and explain my journey to those who are new here. I started my weight loss journey January 1st of 2022, weighing 351 pounds. At the lowest, I had got down to 284, and that would have been, that's crazy. Okay, that would have been August of 2022 and March of 2023 is when I was at my lowest weight. It seems that there must be like a mental or emotional block that I have with getting past the number 284. I've gotten there twice. I've gotten there twice and I haven't gotten past it. Instead, when I hit that number, somehow I gain weight. So today, before you, I weigh 305.8 pounds. I'm up um, about 20 pounds. And you're seeing in real time me coming to this conclusion about the two times I've had a block and it being the exact same number. But anyway, kind of all over the place, sorry guys. But I've shared with you guys before that I cannot or haven't been able to visualize myself smaller because I've always been in a bigger body. Even when I was younger, like I can't visualize my adult body being smaller because I've never seen it. And I think apparently 284 scares me because why 284 is still big but I mean it's still a large number I don't know why 284 is a block for me but anyway let's just talk about this weight loss is hard it's hard guys it's so hard <laughs> it's not an easy journey I know I come on here I smile I share the facts I share the losses so I have to share the gains um, I'm not going to ever get on here and be like crying and, and oh my gosh, because that's not the energy that I'm trying to give out to the world, nor do I want to receive. But weight loss is hard. And I choose to do weight loss via like rolling fasting and rolling fasting is hard. And I feel like I just needed a break from doing it. But I need to learn how to break from doing it and not just revert back to complete old habits. I will say, even in the reverting back, you know how like, okay, every journey, 
you're gonna have those days where you have you know like cheat days or oopsie days and it just felt like I was on an oopsie day <laughs> that lasted for two months it's like I never gave up on the journey I never thought that oh I won't I wouldn't get back on track or that it was over it was never over for me so that's good even though my body was consuming food that I shouldn't have been my mind was still like girl we're gonna get this together we're gonna get it together we're gonna get it together <laughs> so with that said I don't want you to see my failures as rolling fasting doesn't work rolling fasting does work if you work it right um, but rolling fasting is hard and I am coming at it with a different approach that we'll discuss it a little bit later, okay? But I have a different perspective on rolling fasting now. I wanna share this story with you about my son. It's not a long story at all. But my son would make like um, sandwiches or he may have, you know, cheese and crackers to go to school at lunch. And he found that when he was at school, he was battling with having stomach issues or like gas. And he made a conscious choice to stop eating cheese, at least stop eating cheese when he went to school, because of course he didn't want to be embarrassed that he had gas. And he found that it, it helped. You know, a lot of people are lactose intolerant to a certain degree. And I guess he figured out that he was as well. And he's 13 and he had a resolve. I will not be eating cheese and he enjoys cheese. We both, like one of our favorite um, meals that we have in common is nachos. So he loves cheese, but he said, I'm not gonna eat cheese at school. And he had stopped cold turkey. I looked at my child and I'm, I'm just like I was so impressed like I watched him for a couple of weeks not consume cheese and he's just like yep done with it I was so impressed because there are things in my diet that I need to be like I need to stop eating that because of how it makes me feel I think I brought up sugar earlier I probably have a sugar addiction which most of us do right and it's gotten real bad over these last two months. And so we're gonna to have to kick this addiction. But not just because my waistline is showing the results of consuming sugary baked goods and things of that nature or ice cream. Because when I consume sugar, which is a carb, my body feels horrible the next day, horrible. I wake up, my joints hurt, my face is swollen, everything's swollen, <laughs> and I'm in pain. And it's because of sugar and carbs, like the processed carbs. Like I can have whole wheat pasta or brown rice and it don't have that same type of effect. But like, you know, straight up french fries, uh, cookies, ice cream, something like that chips I literally am in pain from consuming these foods so why can't I take a page no I can so I'm gonna take a page out of my son's book and acknowledge the the effects that this food has on me and make better choices around it so what's my new mindset on rolling fasting my new mindset is that it is not a forever thing for me. It is a tool to get me to where I want to be. And it's a tool to help me maintain once I get there, okay? So I was doing Rolling 72 all basically all last year. And then I decided to stop and do Rolling 48 I probably need to explain rolling fasting, huh? Oh, if you're really new here and you don't know anything about rolling fasting. Rolling fasting is simply when you take a set um, time frame and you don't eat, let's say it's 72 hours, you don't eat for 72 hours, you then eat and then you go back into fasting immediately, immediately and then you keep that process 
rolling. That's just as simple as I can explain it. So I was doing rolling 72s for a year, decided to stop in January and do rolling 48 because I wanted to focus more on gaining muscle. But I have decided to go back to doing rolling 72s at least for the next four weeks. And you're probably thinking, why just four weeks? Okay, never on this journey, nowhere on this platform have I said, oh, I don't think I have. Maybe I have, <laughs> but I've never focused on this is the goal weight. This is the goal or this is the time frame. And I think, oh, that's my garage door. My husband's coming home. But what I think is that, or what I feel is that I do need to set that. I do need to say it out loud. So for me, what I'm saying out loud today is, the goal is to stick to the regimen or the plan that I have created for the next four weeks. See, the infinite amount of time it was thinking, I felt like, or emotionally, I felt like it was going to take me to actually get down to my goal weight of 175 is a daunting goal or it's it just was looming over me like a dark cloud. So I feel like I need to take smaller bites of my journey, just focus in on that smaller time frame, maximize that time, and then reevaluate and move on to the next time. So again, I'm committing to rolling 72s for the next four weeks. I'm going to continue to work out. Um, I had been lifting every other day, but with rolling 72s, I do not feel comfortable doing that. I'll lift on the days that I eat. So that'll be every third day I will lift. But I will continue to work out daily. I know it can be complicated when I explain this, so let me try. So on the day I feed, I will lift and work out at Hotworks. I have videos about Hotworks if you're not familiar with it. The following day, I will not eat, but I will work out at Hotworks and I will walk. The next day, I will not eat and I will just walk. So as you can see, the progression of my exercise will dwindle down or um, the further I get away from eating. So that's in my mind, I have A, B, and C day. A day, eat, lift, hot works. B day, don't eat, hot works, walk. C day, C day, don't eat, just walk. And then we start all over again at day A. So that's the plan. And of course, a gallon of water. I have a video about habit stacking and the gallon of water is easy for me to consume because of it. Check out that video. Um, it can be really helpful, helpful for you if you're trying to drink more water or trying to make other good habits stick as well. So not only am I committed to this four week plan that I have in place, I'm also committed to posting about it here. Um, so remember, you're my accountability partner. So whether you like it or not, me and you, we in this together. Posting here helps me stay accountable, for lack of a better word. I was about to say motivated, but I don't know if I'm motivated. But it does help me stay consistent. Consistency, that's the word. So here's to my consistent journey over the next four weeks. I will update you weekly on my weight loss. I will share the ups and downs of the week, hopefully more ups than downs. And after those four weeks that are up, I reevaluate what worked, what can be tweaked, and we'll move forward. So if you got this far, do consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. But most of all, I just hope that you have an amazing day. Bye guys.